the nine physical temples of the Bible. An interpretation. Nine physical temples of God are described in the Hebrew and Greek testaments of the Holy Bible. Temple or sanctuary translates, Hikel, in the Hebrew scriptures, and, Naos, in the Greek scriptures, a sacred dwelling in which priests make sacrifices to the deity and receive messages from him. In the Bible, the only true God, Yahweh, the Lord, commanded the building of temples, in which his people, Israel, should honor him. Each physical temple was eventually destroyed, following a period of national disobedience. One, Moses Tabernacle at Shiloh, constructed in the wilderness during the Israelite Exodus, set up at Shiloh in the 11th century BCE, standing till Solomon's temple was completed in the 10th century BCE. Two, Solomon's first temple at Jerusalem, constructed by King Solomon. Completed around 960 BCE, destroyed by the Babylonians in 586 BCE when Israel entered its 70 year captivity in Babylonia. 3. Zerubbabel's restored temple at Jerusalem. Constructed by Governor Zerubbabel following Israel's return from captivity after 589 BCE completed in 515 BCE, standing till rebuilt by King Herod between 20 and 18 BCE. 4. Herod II Temple at Jerusalem. Constructed by King Herod the Great, begun in 19 BCE, completed in 63 CE, as the first Jewish revolt was starting destroyed in 70 CE by the Romans as Jesus had predicted. 5. Jesus' body crucified and risen. Conceived by the Holy Spirit in about 2 BCE, filled with the Holy Spirit at his baptism in about 29 CE, crucified in 33 CE, risen back to life on the third day, ascended into heaven. 6. Jesus follow us physical bodies everywhere. Born again by faith in Jesus Christ and wealth by the Holy Spirit, communing with Christ and his church by the Lord's Supper, loving God and others as themselves. 7. An end times temple at Jerusalem. Construction may begin soon by international agreement. After about three years sacrifices will stop when the Antichrist takes his seat in it proclaiming himself to be God. 8. Ezekiel's Millennial Temple at Jerusalem. Construction at the start of Messiah's millennial reign, a center of pilgrimage, providing fresh water for the land, standing for 1,000 years till the dissolution of all things. 9. God Almighty himself in New Jerusalem. There will be no temple in the city, for its temple is the Lord God the Almighty and the Lamb. Fellowship between Yahweh and humans through Jesus will endure forever.